in our Dumso diary today. We'll take you to Odoko Buzia Junction where a 53-year-old man and his 50-year-old brother who run a tailoring shop lament how the intermittent power supply is affecting them. Adobe Asari tells the story of the struggles of these artisans in the midst of the Dumso crisis. Sir. Sir. Edward Chibo is a 53-year-old man whose livelihood depends only on his handicraft, sewing. The recent inconsistent supply of power is having a terrible toll on him. I'm experiencing power cuts very well. When the power is off, our, our work also gets stuck. We don't meet our customers' needs. His younger brother, 50-year-old Benjamin Jubo, works with him. He recounts how he had to improvise to satisfy a client when Dunso took a seat at his workplace. Sometimes it comes, it, it goes off and doesn't come until the next day. So four days ago, it, it went off. So I had to run to East Ligon to go and do some job for someone because the person needed it so much. The men share with me how they have no other alternative to make ends meet. This is what we do to make a living. So when there is no power, you can't do any work. We don't have any other work to do attached to what we are doing now. We are just sewing. Things are stuck. So even if you get a generator, and you saw, how much will you charge your customer for the person to be able to pay? Even with electricity, when you charge, they complain. So when you add generator, you buy for to sew, and you have to add a little more cost to it. It is it, it, very disgusting. So you use electric machines here. What is the Dumso costing you to do differently? We use hand sewing machines, but when the light goes off, you can sew. Up to some point, you need an, so the iron to iron. So if it gets to that point, you can't do anything. So how is the situation affecting them financially? Power cuts here in Ghana make us lose a lot of money because in a week at least if you don't have anything at least in a week you can have if you don't have anything you can have at least some thousand b but when power interruptions happen like that you cannot have that money you end up maybe what you use to buy food when you buy after buying food you don't have anything again our financial status is not going up we always drop down now that the light goes off and doesn't come out you can't pinpoint on what you get in the week it's it's a problem the, the way you have to feed your family is is even difficult for us it's very difficult for us you know, the children's school and then uh, fees and all sort of stuff, those things make us stuck. These brothers, like majority of business owners, are calling for a load shedding timetable. The load shedding has to come so that everybody will know how to plan his or her, her things. So we want a load shedding timetable to be out for us so that we can we can adjust ourselves if. It has to be a, a night thing, we can do the night, then the next day, when the light will go off, we can sleep. We need a timetable, but the timetable too is not coming for. Because of the loyalty of their customers, Benjamin and Edward haven't lost any customers yet. However, they feel unsatisfied any time a customer's demand isn't met due to the power crisis. Are you the tailor doing the job? You feel bad. 
because that is your customer who has been giving you job all the time for you to get something into your pocket. In the same vein, some seamstresses at the Kantamandu market here in Accra have not been left out of this crisis. They lament vehemently how they continue to lose customers because of the power cut. If you are in your light off now, Sometimes our lights go out for three days. This retards our progress with work and we tend to lose customers. The light it's electricity we use in doing our work, so when it goes off, I have no other option than to go home. The power situation is really affecting us. These things I saw are things I sell to take care of my family, so it's troubling when the light goes off. Thousands of artisans across the country continue to veil under the devastating impact of doing so and do not have a clue on how to navigate around their businesses with the back and forth on what really is the cause of this situation. Whose job is it really to ensure a stable power supply for these people? Adobe Asari's report read to you.